Okay, so today we will have chapter 5, which is the real start of part 2 of this book. The first question I think I'll ask you today is that part 2, transformation 1. So this chapter is the first part or the real start of these transformations. And it is a transformations with S in the plural form. Why is this? This lecture and the lectures that will follow will try to cover this question or answer the question that I have asked right now. Chapter 5, the negative transformation. So there are transformations, many transformations, different transformations, but interrelated. These transformations, the first one of which we will deal with today is the negative transformation. Negative transformation is a broad topic. It is, you know, illustrated here simply in relation to transformational grammars of that time, the 70s, I mean. He says that the phrase structure rules can produce the structures underlying such sentences as those boys might have been swimming in the lake. And the manager wrote a letter. What is the kind or the type of these sentences? Those boys might have been swimming in the lake and the manager wrote a letter. You know that we have different types of sentences. We have the affirmative, the negative, the declarative, the implicative, etc. So what's the type of these two? Yes, who can tell me? Those boys have been swimming in the lake. Okay. Those two sentences could be uh, statements. Yes, statements and affirmative. 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 Since today we yeah, have the negative, sorry, the negative. So uh, these are affirmative sentences. So he says that phrase structure rules can produce structures that underline or underlie, sorry, or let us say represent uh, the affirmative sentences but if we check these the manager didn't write a letter these by the way have the same meaning or circulate around the same idea the manager didn't write a letter did the manager write a letter who wrote a letter what did the manager write a letter was written by the manager so these five at least share the same idea which is the action of writing a letter right if we check again the other five because a manager wrote a letter the letter that was written by the manager the letter written by the manager for the ma for the manager to write a letter the managers having written a letter are these affirmative this is the first question are they affirmative from 1 through 10 do we think that they are affirmative they are not affirmative no they are negative yep. some of them so, negative so they are of are, different yeah. let us agree on this they are of different types right different types negative interrogative etc and some of them are passive other are active etc all of these structures seem to be related in a way or another to the manager wrote a letter right so they are interrelated or related okay so here the the idea is that they share the same the same relationship found in all of them the manager is the one who performed you see who is the manager the manager is the doer of the action so he is the one who performed is the one who performed the act of writing letter is the result of this action in spite of the differences there is a similarity in meaning on all these structures transformational rules are used to produce these changes in the form so we use transformational rules this is the job of transformational rules right we use them in order to, you know, to predict or to represent such kind of, you know, changes or transformations, in other words. 
Earlier, we listed several sentence modifiers. You know sentence modifiers. Who can remind me what's the meaning of sentence modifier? Anyone who can tell me what is a sentence modifier? Words that come to modify a sentence, just like Good. the words, yes. So they, no. come, they come usually in the first place. Absolutely. They come usually or frequently. They take on or take over the first place in the sentence. In the English sentence, of course. We are talking about English or we are, we refer to English sentences. Think about words such as yes, no. Add to them not. Not the negation marker or the negative marker distinguishes a sentence such as John could sing well from the negative sentence John could not sing well. By selecting the SM not, we can derive a structure as shown in figure or oh, sorry on page 44. This gives not John past can sing well. Okay? Since it is a sentence modifier Although in the real structure, in the original structure or the surface structure, okay, not is placed after the what the subject, right, and the main verb. But here we place it before the whole structure. I won't say the sentence; it is the structure, which is not grammatical. It would be grammatical if we change the word order to John past cannot sing well. John could not sing well. So here today we will face two very basic and important concepts. We have the surface structure and the deep structure. What do we mean by them? Which one is the surface structure and which one is the deep structure? So what do you say? What do you know about surface and deep structures? Do you know them? How can you define them? Any ideas? If we go back to these two, not John past can sing well, okay? And John past can not sing well. Which one is the deep structure and which one is the surface and why? Yes, any ideas? Which one is the surface structure and which one is the deep? Of course we don't know because we didn't have the book with us. We didn't read the book, so that's why we don't know. Is that an answer? Yes, go on please. So I can answer? Yes, uh, the, yes uh, the, the deep structure is the structure of our information or mythical information. Okay. Deep structure, is it found in real or, uh, you know, text in general, in written forms in general, or it's some kind of analytic, analytic one, you know, one that is used for analysis. In grammatical English, it's found in transformate. So it is some kind of analytic, analytic tool. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Jumane. Thanks, that was good. Okay. A structure yes. generated only by phrase structure and lexical rules, not a John, such as this one, this is the definition, is a deep structure. Okay? This is the deep structure. A structure generated only by phrase structure and lexical rules, such as not John, past, can, sing, well, is a deep structure okay this is the deep structure then we go back to the surface and deep structures so there is the deep structure which is the root as Amir said as Amir as your colleague Amir said the deep structure is just like the root okay of the surface structure surface structure is the final representation after, of course, the transformational processing, it comes the surface uh, or the surface structure comes into the scene. Okay, a structure that is generated by phrase structure and lexical rules according to processing, such as not John past can sing well, 
this is not uh, acceptable in you know in surface structure representations we should change it or process it within the transformational processes in order to make it seems to be you know like any other ordinary sentence English sentence or Arabic or whatever a deep structure that has been transformed into grammatical English sentence what do we call the surface structure grammatical English or grammatical Arabic sentence such as John could not sing well which one is the grammatically accepted the first form or formula not John past can sing well or the second one of course it's the second right it is the second one it is more acceptable it is more you know readable in English in ordinary you know ordinary texts of English language it's what about John could not sing well what do we call it we call it service structure okay all grammatical English sentences are surface structures so what do we call English sentences in general all of them are surface structures underlying each one is a deep structure what is the underlying one the underlying structure it is the deep structure deep structure yes both deep and surface structures are more abstract than we are presenting them here this is very important they are so abstracted since phonological rules have not yet been applied okay i think i have told you in chapter four we have three basic components right in any grammar we should deal with three basic components or elements of any grammar grammar not syntax i insist grammar what are the the components who can tell me what are the components or the can elements? we answer sir yes yes zainab uh, yes uh, there are three components the syntax component Good. and uh, the semantic component and the uh, Phonological component. Okay, good. In relation to what has been mentioned by Zainab, who can tell me up to this moment how many components did we study right now? Up to this moment, how many components or elements have we had? Uh, we we studied the syntax components and semantic good. components. Yes. So far, we have had the semantic and the syntactic ones in chapter 2 and chapter 3 we have studied or we have investigated the syntactic component of the transformational grammar in the fourth chapter or in chapter 4 we have dealt with the lexical or the semantic component of that grammar the same grammar what kind of grammar we are talking about it is of course the grammar of Chomsky and his followers or what do we call today and the very other days okay the past days and the other yet to come days or lectures we used to call them transformational grammars or transformational grammarians rules however at this stage it is easier to follow the transformational rule if we use a form such as not john could sing well than the abstraction that is the actual deep structure okay uh, all native speakers of English are ca capable of producing an infinite number or infinite. You know infinite or infinite. Of course, not Eternal. only, not only are, uh, sorry, English speaking people. What about Arabs? French? All of them are able or capable of producing an infinite number of sentences or surface structures which are, you know, deeply rooted in some other deep structures but what about the deep structures do you think that they are infinite in number that is the question grammatical english sentences our purpose is not to teach you how to make negative sentences any normal five-year-old can do that perfectly right so we do know how to negate sentences in english right students we do know that 
By negative, we are referring to a sentence negation, not word negation. Okay? So, we deal here with the negation phenomenon. That is not probable has this, the SM not. That is improbable does not have this SM and is therefore not part of this immediate study. So, we deal only with sentences with negative marker, not, which is an SM, as we said. By selecting the optional SM, not can, we can, sorry, generate a number of deep structures like those on the left below. Not Jerry could hear me. Jerry couldn't hear me. Not Bill has received it. So, what are these? On the left, what do we call them? Or what did we call them? Yes? Um, surface, uh, uh, surface structure? Which one is the surface structure? Uh, on the left. Is it to the right or to the left? Yes, I'm uh, left. Yes, I'm 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 left. Yes, I'